Kobuthi Taikh Tun's uncle taught him how to spot satellites in the night sky when he was a young boy, awakening in him an insatiable curiosity about the cosmos. More than 20 years later, in 2004, he and a group of friends founded the Myanmar Astronomy and Science Enthusiast Society MASES. The group of amateur astronomers would host regular stargazing parties and try to raise awareness about a field which, at one point, was a compulsory subject for all university physics students in Myanmar, had fallen to academic irrelevance, but a few years after its launch, MASES went on break its core members putting their nights of stargazing behind them as families and time jobs began to take priority. Fast forward to December last year, more than a decade after its members took what was meant to be a short hiatus, MASES returned from the abyss, hosting a stargazing party at the Hanthawadi Golf and Country Club near Bago. The party attracted over 10 enthusiasts from Yangon, during which astrophotographers were able to capture the spiral Andromeda galaxy the Milky Way's closest neighbor and a pink and orange interstellar cloud known as the Orion Nebula. We amateur astronomers are all the same. Our curiosity is always aroused when we see unusual things in the sky and we're driven to find out what they are, said Kobuthi Taik Htun, a freelance photographer and a founding member of MASES. MASES also set up its official Facebook page last December on which the group regularly posts links to its events and educational videos covering the work of famous physicists such Brian Cox and Isaac Newton. Our aim is to arouse people's interest in stars and planets and make science more accessible to the public, he said. The Dark Age at the December event, Kozor Mayan II, who's somewhat of a celebrity in Myanmar amateur astronomical circles, walked newcomers through the constellations and other mysteries of the cosmos. I started to watch stars with my father at the age of two. He bought me a compass that started my lifelong interest in astronomy, said Kozor Mayan II, the secretary of MASES. When he was six years old, his father bought him the popular astronomy book Mopor Hmaq Ulta Lone Star in the Sky by Min Tu Wan. I would look at pictures in the book and search for them in the sky with my naked eyes, he said. But decades of isolation under a military regime in which universities were shuttered and sciences removed from the school curriculum saw amateur astronomy fall by the wayside. Academics went abroad, books became harder to source and students had less access to necessary equipment like telescopes. Our country lags far behind neighboring countries in science. Thailand has launched its own satellite while India is looking at exploring Mars, said Kozor Mayant II. Astronomy was removed as a compulsory subject for physics students at the University of Mandalay in the early 1980s, according to Dor Yi Yu, a professor at the University of Mandalay, I did not learn astronomy as a student majoring in physics. Astronomy was not taught in the class because former astronomy teachers left the country or passed away, she said. Last year, six teachers from the university including Dor Yi Yu, visited the National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand NARIT and Chiang Mai University to seek advice on planning and developing an astronomy curriculum for University of Mandalay. Shortly after, astronomy and astrophysics was introduced as an extracurricular option for every physics student. Doi Yu still hopes that one day the university will be able to offer astronomy as a standalone course. If we say, science, popular subjects, such as medicine and mathematics come to mind. But there are many subjects under science that are unpopular but are useful, like astronomy, said Kobuthi Taik Htun. Into the light there have been some promising signs that astronomy could be about to go through a renaissance in Myanmar. In November last year, Mandalay University hosted the 9th Southeast Asia Astronomy Network meeting a platform where people from across the region swap research and discuss ways to expand science education. The event, the first of its type ever held in Myanmar, was attended by more than 200 undergraduate students as well as government officials and was considered a success by all involved. Days later, the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan NAOJ, NARIT, and the International Astronomical Union Office for Astronomy Outreach IAUOAO organized two workshops at the University of Mandalay attended by more than 100 high school and university students, lecturers and researchers from across the country. One of the workshops, called You Are Galileo, gave students the opportunity to familiarize themselves with high-tech telescopes and software, all of which were donated to the participating schools afterwards by the organizations. As night fell, the students went out onto the soccer field at the Mandalay University campus for a stargazing party. 
For three hours their new equipment became a window into a universe of planets and stars many had never seen up close before. Just like a telescope is a window into the universe, Kobu the Taik HTUN views astronomy as its own window, leading people into other fields of science like astrophysics and meteorology. We need to open that window, especially for our young people, he said.